everyone, it's Maria here from peppelyrose.blogspot.com.au. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to do a project as part of the Inksomniacs blog hop. This is a blog hop where the Inksomniacs team, which is a team I'm part of, um, is doing a blog hop and um, I'm the next one. Um, basically, um, it's the challenge was to case something from any catalogue, so it could have been our annual catalogue or our occasions catalogue or celebration. I chose to go annual catalogue. Um, at times I feel that certain products in here are a little bit neglected so I thought I'm going to use the tree ring stamp set uh, background stamp and I bought that recently but I haven't had a chance to use it and I'm going to use a flower shop stamp set and we're going to use as well the lovely words thinlets and what these have are these um, lovely framelets and this one says lovely and they cut out words or you can use them within the shape that says hugs and this says friend so I'm going to feature these products today and these are all in our annual catalogue the beauty of the flower shop um, stamp set is it coordinates with a punch so it makes creating super duper easy and that's our pansy punch that is also available in our annual catalogue as well as that I'm bringing out this punch which I forgot what it's called <laughs> for a second there it's um it was from our um was it called holiday catalogue that just retired but this is a carryover item it's it's over here at the back of the our occasions catalogue so you can still order it if you like and it's called the leaf punch there you go so it's all there so you can buy any of these products that are at the back here because they have not retired so I'm going to use that punch as well because I think it's great now the um, the card I'm going to case from the catalogue is found on page 164 so it's where all the background stamps are and I'm going to case this card over here now um, I don't know what flower and those leaves are from but I'm going to somewhat case these so that um, I'm going to use with what I have so I'll get started on making this project straight away for you it's pretty much going to be the same just with slightly different product that's all okay so what you'll need is a piece of crumb cake cardstock I cut mine four inches across by eight and I'm just going to burnish that score line so then it becomes a four by four cardstock so four inches by four inches cardstock Okay, really, really simple. I'll make sure that's right in the middle, actually. Okay, I didn't, um, I didn't exactly do this precisely, and I'd rather do this precisely. So I'll just, yeah, burnish that a lot better. And I'm going to bring out my tree ring stamp set. So this is a beautiful background stamp. And I'm going to get some chocolate chip ink, and I'm just going to ink the back of this stamp. Mind you, this is the first time I'm using this stamp, so I'm dying to see what it looks like. <laughs> it's been a while. So, I've had this for a long time and I haven't used it, so it's pretty sad, isn't it? Okay, so that's chocolate, chocolate chip, chip ink. Now I'm just going to place the card base right on top of that. I'm going to grab some scrap paper and I'm just going to rub whilst holding one side, rub on the other. Just keep holding it down give it a good press so that it gets a good impression of ink carefully lift that off and you have a beautifully stamped isn't that gorgeous background okay so I'll pop this over on one side here now on some scrap pieces of um, crumb cake I'm going to do some stamping so as you can see these are just off cuts so I'm going to stamp from the flower shop stamp set I'm going to stamp that stamp over there that sorry yeah that stamp over there that flower and I'm going to use tangerine tango for that and I'm going to stamp it twice now as you can see there's a little arrow now I've made a video before on how to stamp and punch these out because there is a little trick to them and they can be really frustrating to try and line up so I, I've watched a couple of videos and I've made one myself I'll link it in the YouTube video below um, in the description box but basically I'll show you how to position your stamp and how to mark it so it makes it easier for you to um, stamp with and punch out so that's that one there I'm going to do the same on this one 
do that here. Okay, so that's that all done. Then I'm going to um, stamp. Oh, I forgot my stamp set. Hang on a second. I'll be back in one second. I forgot a stamp. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> Another stamp set I forgot, and I forgot to bring it up actually, was the Painted Harvest stamp set. As, um, as I've said previously too, this was in our previous holiday catalogue. And it's now a carryover item, so you can find the stamp set here. Um, we're going to use that as well, um, because I love this stamp set. And I'm going to use these leaves, and I'm going to colour those in... I'm actually going to stamp them out in garden green. So get my garden green and just stamp there. Okay, so it looks like that. It's very subtle, but it's nice. It's got like a really lovely watercolour look to it. Okay, so now we'll just bring out our punches and we'll just punch them out. So I'll just line that up. Makes it nice and easy when you've done that um, beforehand. So this is my take. So that's my case on the, the card that I showed you earlier. So I'm just lining this up, making sure it's nice and lined up. Okay, punch that out. Looks lovely. And the next one. If you can hear talking in the background, um, I've got my kids home, they're on school holidays and also I've got lots of noise from cars and trucks and um, motorcycles because I live near a main road so yeah. Anywho, so I'll just um, cut this out with my leaf punch now, just line that up as best I can. There we go, okay so that's that. So I'm going to pop these on here, one on top of the other, and I'd say that will go there. Um, I'm going to cut a little strip of um, crumb cake, and I'll just make it a two by two. So I'll just bring my cutting, my trimmer. Got to bring that out. Sorry about that. So I just bring my trimmer, and I'm going to cut it two. And is it two inches? No, a bit too much. I'll make that say one and a half or one and actually one and a quarter will be a better size, okay, across. Little strip of um, crumb cake, okay. I think that looks a lot better. And we'll leave it as is and then I'll just trim it off with some scissors afterwards, okay. So that's that, and now I'm going to cut out one of these lovely words, and I'm going to use the word friend rather than hugs. So I'll just see if that fits across. Uh, I think I'll use hugs as well. Thought I'll be different, but nah, that's okay. I'll just case it with what I have. So some things I have, some things I don't. And it goes with any design too. If you're stuck for ideas and you don't know what to do, you can always case a card out of the catalogue. That's what it's there for. So I've got my um, big shot here. Just grab some foil. I've got some gold foil. Yeah, I'll just get a piece so I can use it to cut it out. Where are you, foil? Sorry about this, I'm scrubbing some foil. Got some scrap here. That's perfect, I think. Mm. Need to use another piece. Sorry about that. Hang on a second. I'll just cut out. A larger piece and cut that down. Do it this way because it's a bit glary. You don't have to cut out the whole shape if you don't want to, you can just cut out the word. So I'll show you how to do that. 
So I'll just grab my cutting plates. Platform with a thin die adapter. I've got a cutting plate on top. I've got my foil. And I'm just going to put that hugs on there. Just put it on here. Might trim this down a little bit more. No, just leave it. Okay, just trim this down here like that. Okay, just grab my other plate. Crank it through. Oh, hang on. Oh, sorry, it went down a little far and then I wouldn't I would have missed out on the words there. Okay, just cut that through. Any excess, I just cut that off and use those other smaller pieces for other projects. So nothing ever goes to waste. I'm just going to run that through one more time. Okay. Take that away. Take that away. And so now, look at that. It's cut out that, that gorgeous. So... Just going to trim this off, trim that off, just give that a nicer trim and then you have the word hugs, isn't that cute? Okay, so we'll put this card together, alright, so I think what I'll do is I'll place that over here so I'll get some glue and I'll just glue to there. Okay. Then I'm just going to curl these up just a little bit just to give them a little bit of life. So I'll put that there. I'll pop that up there. And I'll do the same on this one. So I'll just make it look alternative a little like that. Okay, so I'll add some glue on the bottom of this one and add that on top. So it looks like that. Okay, and I'm going to add some glue on this leaf here. Pop this on here, pop this here, put some glue on the back of that. Stick that down the middle. And then I've got some gold faceted gems. So I'm just going to grab one of those off this sheet here. Pop it in the middle. So that looks really beautiful already, doesn't it? Okay, I'm just going to trim off the side of that one. Okay. And I've got the word hugs. I'll put it at a bit of an angle. I think that looks beautiful. I'll just grab my tweezers and we're going to glue that down. Wrong tweezers, like the ones that are self-closing. Okay, just add some glue on the back of these. You can use your Tombow or thin tip glue pen, whatever you wish. I like using this glue. I'll just grab a tissue actually because it's um, got too much glue there. So I'm not as prepared as I thought I would be. So I'll just give that a little wipe because it's too much there. Okay, got rid of that. Okay, and I might just move this over just a tad because it's still a little wet. See, that's why I like working with... Um, with liquid glue because it gives you that that time and I'll just give this a bit of a wipe it gives you that time to kind of just uh, work with it a little and any bits that are sticking out just give that a bit of a trim and there you have it what do you think hey so that's my card for today so I basically cased um, this card over here in the background stamps. Just bring that up very quickly. Oh, where are the background stamps now? <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, there we go. On page 164 of the catalogue. So there we go. So that's the one in the catalogue. 
it's got a little bit of linen thread I've just kept it really really simple and um, yeah so that's my case as part of the Insomniacs group so I hope you've enjoyed this card if you have any questions just uh, leave me a comment below this video and I'll be happy to answer them thanks for coming past if you want to order any of these products that you've seen today they are available in my online store at pepperlyrose.stampinup.net thanks so much guys have a wonderful day bye